And hello, welcome to episode 2 of Lara Croft Tomb Raider by Ubisoft. Right. Picking up where we left off. There's a little bit of a theatrical bit now. Should have solved most of the volume problems. It was partly due to my headset. God, this is a gorgeous game. I mean, just look at those graphics. Actually, they're probably a little bit blurred. I don't have the most high-end computer, but they are... It's, it's beautiful. It really is. It's so beautiful. Ooh, XP. Can I move? Yes, I can move. Run. Hmm. That running's a bit... Is it me or does the running look a bit retarded? She see every object she passes, you seem to like sort of ooh, a lifeboat. Okay. But as I was saying, she sure seems to sort of grab onto the nearest object which is fallible upon. So she has been stabbed, okay. but you know. Take it slow. Take it slow. Screw that short, I'm going as fast as possible. Go. Okay, maybe not. I think some of them balancing thing, yeah, some of them sort of balancing, it doesn't tell you, that's the thing, holy shit. It doesn't tell you that you have to balance using left and right, but it's not actually that difficult. It's not like one of them games you get on, on your phone, where it is actually difficult to balance. It's actually really easy to balance there. Right. More running. Hmm. Jumpy bits. Don't you just love the jumpy bits in Tomb Raider? I know it seems like a simple thing, but I used to love the jumping and the climbing and all that sort of stuff that just makes Tomb Raider what it is, I suppose. A plane? That doesn't look like a climbing frame. <laughs> and of course that's what it is. I've done this before, but as I say, when I first played it, it was quite obvious that it was in fact a climbing frame. to establish that A is for jumping, X is for grabbing onto things when you lose control. Come on. Come on. And you can jump across as well. X again. Yes, I like the controls there, it's pretty cool actually. That was close. And that was even closer. Come on, get a move on. Oh, more XP. I like this bit. You know, actually, for, you can go over the edge if I want to, but I don't know who would. But you hold on to the rock face as well, which is pretty cool. And his wall scrambling. You jump on a wall and then you can say when you're on the wall to scramble up it. Awesome. And this one you just fall. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at this over here. She's not very loud, is she? She would shout louder. <laughs> Camera! No, I wonder what did the images are on there. The radio. Hello? Anybody? Can anyone hear me? Mm hmm. Cloudy. Jump! X. Oh, bollocks. Oh wait, yeah, that's meant to happen. Forgot about that. It's kind of retarded because you feel like you failed, but that's actually what was supposed to happen. Take shelter from the storm. This rocky cliff that doesn't look like it's going to collapse looks good. Yes, yes, I like it. I shall make camp there. And I forgot to set a timer, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm just going to set a 10 minute one from now on. Let's see how accurate I was at the end. Hmm. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Yeah, well, it's hopeless. Gonna have to make a fire, Lara. Good 
thinking. This is the sound effect of the game. They're well overlooked in most games, but in this one in particular, I think they're actually are very good. So you get all the sort of small little silver ones. On that note, I don't actually hear anything from the fire. And again, it could be turned up by rain, I don't know. Would it be turned up by rain in real life? I don't know. Ooh. Hello? Signs of life, perhaps? Hope. That's what this game is mainly about. Hope. It's such a depressing cutscene, isn't it? I will, again, I'll put a skippy thing, because it's about to be a, a relatively long cutscene about how they got here. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on it's a bit where I get confused, because she sounds a bit American in this. Sure of it. I just sort of parts of it. It's like an American trying to do an English accent. That's the one thing I didn't like about this game. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. Yes, you are. I trust you. Ross trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. You know, she she just listens to a bit Australian, actually. She's surrounded by Americans. How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Mara? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. American, American. See why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata. No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Ross about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. He's got a point. Man with a mustache. My reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. Oh, that's a three-way round, bitch. Got 30 years experience. That's course, man. Brilliant. East Asian history, so why don't you stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Shep, don't direct me. That's such it's a Shep. <laughs> Going east will take us directly into the dragon's triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere but that base has a bad energy. Bad storm, more like makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. Okay, I'm gonna make this episode a bit longer because the good scene. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? This is the satellite imagery from inside the dragon's triangle. Yep. That doesn't look good. This way, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're so <laughs> There it is right. We don't have the funds to fish about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Oh, shut up. I don't like that guy. I like the Scots guy. So, yeah, that's how they... That's... That's... The reason they're here, and you can tell the emotions of the game trying to convey love's guilt. If you didn't know that already, and there's it stopped raining. Bad. I can't just sit here. Since this is the first bit of gameplay, it's gonna start to find ten something. minutes from here. Oh shit, it's a deer. Where are we going? Like right, this way. Where's that deer? I need food. Oh God! What's going on? He's got a bow. Wait, I can use that bow. If you can get it off the dead man, you can pry it off his cold, dead hands. So he's using a the scramble there to get up. She just seems to have superhuman jumping abilities. It's kind of weird. I can do this. Yes, you can, Lara. You can do this. 
No button machine. No, it's just time and thing. Oh, that went well. There's a lot of falling in this game. Like really a lot. And here's the bit I don't like. She just happens to have arrows on her back. <laughs> just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world. There are a lot of arrows just sort of lying around in the middle of nowhere, so I'm going to come on it. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. Well, let's find something to eat, but first we need more arrows so that if we do find something to eat, we can kill it. And then eat it. Let's eat quietly. Can I crouch? What the fuck was that? What is this? Look, this be? He's some sort of weird monkey crawl. No, that's not good. That's that's weird. Yeah. So dear, so I'm trying to find it again. Fuck it, damn bollocks. This finale to the neck wouldn't kill the bitch. Is that dead? Good my findings. It's another one. That didn't go very well. I'm just gonna get this one. This is a really emotional. With a pathetic half assed sorry. Just do it. Are you gonna rip it open with an arrow? Let's see how, how that how, how that works out for you. you carry, why don't you carry like a pocket knife or something? Yeah, it's kind of nasty. Yeah. I'm just gonna try something experimental for a second. I'm going to put graphics on Ultra. Let me see what Ultra looks like. Just apply that. Back. Right, back to camp. But if this doesn't play very well, no. I'm going to frame it to like 18. I'll probably play it without recording. But unfortunately, we don't have enough RAM to play it that well. There we go, right back. back. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. I know if this. you learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. What's that? I'm all the way back to camp. Choose back this one. Look at that deer while I'm here. I should get XP for that, I'm gonna find the other deer. There's one more deer. Man, yeah, blue smiles. There we go. 
It looks just like a general mechanic in this game. Hmm. As you can see, it's too many good things. Who left these behind? Damn it. It's just a complete waste. Got it. I forgot. I didn't know you could fire in quick succession like that. Which is why I didn't like it before, but now I know you can. It's actually a really good weapon. I love it. Like now we come. It's 3D on punch of XP, so Goodbye, cool forest. And I'm returning back to camp with the meat. I don't know where I'm going, survival instincts. See. I'm completely stupid. Home sweet home. Don't you just love home? Which skill is this? Is new? You can master all these. Arrow retrieval requirement. There's also a pin cutter, so that would be helpful. Collector. The research crates in caches for an extra salvage, an extra reward from looting, turned animals and food sources already must have back back. Back. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth? Lara? You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the yeah. Then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, I told you it was good. To told you. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Where is your location? God damn it. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. You can do this. Snowden. You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your mind. Okay. Am I truly ready? I'll do it, Roth. I'll brave the deep. Let's go. Find a way out of the forest. Use it. I thought that was just background music, but it's actually Hello? supposed to be in game. Hello? I like the fact that Is the dead there? body's still there. Let's just do it. Open door. Hole in the ground. Ten bucks the door closes on. This could be a way through. Damn it. Level up. <laughs> Press B to drop drop to mount the ladder. Okay. B is everything to do with dropping and crouching and stuff like this. That's cool. I'm gonna drop them here. Yes. So yeah. What are these markings? More tunneling. So as this is what two meter is about, the tunneling aspect of stuff. And Tosh goes through the metal. Hooray! <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, that's the amount of days someone spent down here in this dank shithole. Just guessing. Right. Oh god. This is insane. Yes it is. Should we set that thing on fire? Run! Ooh, box. Give me the box. What's in the box? What the hell? That's effed up. This is just this is a generally good part of the game. This spent quite a lot of time, as you can tell, because the shadows and stuff. But oh well, can't do anything to it. Can't do anything else now. 
Another box. I think that was literally didn't write up in there, just sort of pushed it. And what's this? Looks like some sort of sacrificial thing. That itself to hack prayers. Mm. Uh, we'll to open that door, but there would be no point because you can just go around. <laughs> so these prizes to open doors. Okay. Press it right there, dead lay. Ah! Button mashing. People have got their own opinions on button mashing. I think you can get, it's good, but you can get a bit excessive. If you button mashing every 10 seconds. Right. Okay. And in the next episode, I will get out. I'm going to release two episodes very close to each other because I like releasing common episodes. Common? Regular, that's the word. Yeah, I'm going to get out now, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.